one of the reasons I didn't show in the U.S. I mean, I've, I've turned down things because I just, I, I just want to wait until it's the right time, I guess. Yeah, because of your, the, the, because of your sort of so-called star status over there. Yeah, right? and I'm not even, I was just someone on a show that, but it did have a certain social impact, so some, you know, certain people know it, but I wouldn't say I was any type of celebrity. I'm, to me, I was always just a jobber. I was just a person on t working on TV, yeah. you know. But boy, you look at what's going on in the United States right now, we put a lot of emphasis on people on TV right now. Um, even if they don't really do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... What do you think drives that? I don't know. It's kind of um, what upsets me, or I see, is a... Um, kind of like a spoon-fed spoon generation that doesn't really want to dig any deeper into like the intellectual thought of anything. They, um, they, they're going too fast. I, th I think the internet's driving it a little bit, but the fact that they, they just want to see a headline or a one-liner on Twitter or they're not looking past what's real. And then that kind of, I think what, what drove reality TV a little bit in the early part was the, well there was a writer's strike and that affected Hollywood and then there was uh, reality TV is cheap to make so I just saw for me it was like oh reality TV is taking over a lot of jobs for incredible writers and other actors so uh, I always thought it would die down but it kind of hasn't it's more. It's popular over in England too, right? Yeah, it's really popular over here, actually. Yeah. Um, have you heard of a program called Love Island? Love Island. Love Island. Yeah. Right. Does um, everybody go on an island and then they try to figure out whether they're going to date or not? That's basically it. <laughs> I imagine you yeah. put a similar version. Yeah, it's like version our version of the Bachelor. Well, the first, I got to slide this way. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. exactly it. Essentially. Like, it's um, about 10 very attractive men and 10 very attractive women right. who go to an island in New York or somewhere like that yeah. and they're all coupled off with each other then there's you know the, the usual dynamics of uh, love and breaking right. up and heartache and, and, then, <laughs> and then essentially the goal is to try to win a certain amount of money which I think you win if you right. end up in a couple. It's um, like Survivor meets The Bachelor. Yeah, it's that kind of yeah, setup. Or exactly. And people yeah. absolutely love it. It's not on a... Um, it's not on the most mainstream of channels here, right. but most people can get this channel for free. But people uh, really, really like this show, um, and uh, my girlfriend's actually got me watching it now. So. <laughs> <laughs> and I've gone from that stage of like, presenting it to actually yeah, quite liking it. Totally, and I totally understand it. Um, like, uh, it, it's kind of fascinating that like, you kind of go, "Oh, I can never watch this," and then you're like, "Oh, wait, I have to see what happens." Exactly. Yeah, it's strangely <laughs> like, addictive. Isn't it's it? strangely yeah. addictive, yeah. and. I, I think now it's just going to be part of our culture. I've sort of accepted that too, in the way, you know, like I'm yeah. like, oh, this is just going to be part of what's out here. And, um, but I think when that's, that kind of stuff was coming along, I, I was actually painting more in between hiatuses and doing things that were similar to what I'm, I mean, the beginning of what I'm doing now, but just not at this sort of pace. Mm. And uh, I don't know. I guess I'm one of these people that I, I don't watch a lot of TV, so it was hard for me. And all my friends work in TV. I don't even know half the shows they're on, but I support them. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I support their creativity. But I, I think uh, I'm definitely kind of a hermit. I'm a little <laughs> bit of a hermit and a big nerd. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I just needed some other... I needed a way to express myself that also wasn't just about about me yeah I mean I definitely needed the canvas to change and it was it was a bit terrifying because I thought oh this is gonna be crazy people will think I'm crazy but, you know but you can't really you can't worry about what I mean, you can't worry about the result you just sort of jump and then you go and I, I look back at it now and it seems sort of natural that it happened no regrets no regrets no um, and I'm a little bit in awe of like how well it's worked out, but I'm also kind of a person that each year I do something, I always feel like I can do something better or try something new or yeah. I'll see another artist do something and I'll be really inspired and it's just a never ending cycle of wanting to do more. And I think that's what was missing in acting. I didn't have that, ne I don't, I never had that never ending cycle of wanting to do something else or it just was fading. I don't, I don't know why, but it was fading. I think, I 
think because I just enjoy painting so much. Yeah. Like I enjoy, I enjoy the quietness of it. Like I'm very aware I'm not quiet right now. It's weird. <laughs> well, if you think about the themes that you explore within your art, is there something within yourself?